A LOCAL MOM IS GAINING MOMENTUM IN HER PUSH TO HELP PARENTS GET ANSWERS FROM POLICE WHEN THEIR KIDS ARE KILLED. WE FIRST INTRODUCED YOU TO PATRICIA WARD IN 2014 WHEN SHE LAUNCHED HER PETITION. SHE WANTED TO GET INFORMATION ABOUT HER SON. NEW AT 5, ACTION NEWS JACK'S LETITIA BARIOLA SHOWS US WHY MORE THAN 26,000 PEOPLE HAVE RESPONDED TO HER CALL TO ACTION. I want to meet them. I want them people. Patricia Ward is hoping to bring Jacksonville families some peace. When her son was killed in California, she struggled to get updates on her son's case. When she moved to Jacksonville, she heard similar stories from families here. Not saying that anybody doing nothing wrong, but they want to know. They want to know who's doing their child case. They want to know who got the property. Ward started a petition that now has 26,000 signatures. It would require law enforcement to send a letter to a family member when a loved one is killed. It would provide basic information about the case from the prosecutor to the coroner, helping families navigate the criminal justice system. You don't realize once your child passed, you have to make them calls. You don't think you, who keeps in touch with a coroner? Now, there are victims advocates in Jacksonville. They work with the court system and with JSO. The Justice Coalition is one of those organizations. Paul Bustle with the Justice Coalition says there is a strong support system for victims' families. I don't believe that um, law or legislation is, is necessary. Bustle agrees there are families that aren't getting the help they need. That's why the Justice Coalition is even ramping up our efforts to be able to be more visible in the community. Ward appreciates the Justice Coalition, but also also thinks families should feel empowered too. So when you're ready, you know who to call. That was Letitia Barriola re reporting there. If you want to sign Ward's petition, we've posted a link for you on actionnewsjacks.com.